So a lot of people are wondering how they can increase their performance in FL Studio. Um, I'm using FL Studio 8, so I'm pretty sure you can have the same options available to you whether you're using 7 or possibly 6, but I recommend using FL Studio 8. So let's go into these tips. If you're wondering how you can increase your performance, uh, first thing I kind of recommend is going into Tools and then Macros and then clicking on Switch Smart Disable for All Plugins. What this basically does is it will spare more of your CPU because it won't be loading uh, active plugins continuously. It won't be spending your CPU for plugins that aren't being played within the song. So what does that mean? That means that if you're playing this part of the song, for example, this region, beat 1 to 6, and this part isn't being played at all, like 10 and on, it won't spend uh, your CPU loading this ahead of time until it actually comes up to the so this part of the song. And so that's kind of useful. The only drawback I would say is that if you were playing the song and you come into it, it might not load the plugin immediately. It might uh, have some delay uh, whether or not you're seated. It just depends on your CPU, but there might be some delay and some people might not like that. Uh, but it is recommended. It's good and it spares a lot of your CPU if you've got a lot of crazy things going on. A lot of bass lines, a lot of uh, loops and whatsoever. Uh, another thing I'd recommend is going into Step Sequencer and you can just click on any sort of sample you want and there's an option right here that says keep on disk now depending on how much RAM you have I have two gigs on my system right now so if you have a lot of memory uh, by default you wouldn't want to keep on disk because uh, as it plays the song in the playlist it will play faster and it will play more efficiently if it's not on your disk and if it's on your memory so you want that option to be off uh, it's preferred to be off also, uh, let's go into audio settings. Now, if you can use ASIO for all as your input output, that is recommended. It's much better than uh, primary sound driver or your sound blaster, Audigy, or whatever your direct uh, sound devices. ASIO for all is really good. I recommend it, uh, but it might not be available to you. If it is available to you, uh, you want to go into the settings and kind of just play around with the buffer size a bit. Now, the larger your buffer size, the uh, smoother the playback will be, but uh, the slower the response will be. So, for example, if you connect a MIDI keyboard to control FL Studio and you have a really high buffer size, your response will be really slow compared to something very uh, small, such as 88 samples or 128. But if you want a really low buffer size then you need something really powerful to kind of support that buffer size because you have a really fast response so if you have a MIDI keyboard or you're doing recording you would kind of want a lower buffer size but if you got a really crazy song going on just stick with the highest available now if we look over here we also have another option priority you want your priority to be the highest uh, you can turn off safe overloads uh, I heard that from some other people and I think I was in help saying that safe overloads when off kind of just helps with the CPU a bit. Um, you can also put interpolation on linear so that's just linear quality but it is the fastest quality and now here we go sample rate you want to keep it on 44 100 I wouldn't recommend 22,000 that's just bad but 44 100 is alright if you're some crazy audio free could go 192 but you know 44 100 it's just default it's fine uh, I guess that's basically it so let's go over them you can switch smart disable for all plugins which is in the tools menu you can turn off keep on disk by clicking on the samples and you also have some bonus options up here where you can adjust interpolation sample rate your uh, buffer size, buffer length, your priority. And if you just had primary sound driver and not ASIO for all, it's basically the same thing, except you might have a larger buffer length or maybe a smaller where you can just adjust it a bit more and a bit more options. If you only had primary sound driver, I would recommend 
uh, using hardware buffer. It could or it might not improve performance. You could kind of play around with these options. So uh, that's it for now. These are my tips to uh, help improve your performance with NFL Studio. Feel free to leave a comment or uh, rate my video. Thanks for watching.